going down. Well, hello once again everyone. Welcome to Lawrence Plays Black Mesa, episode number seven, 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 seven. I'm... Oh yes, the end of the last episode. I'd been um, trundling along in this train after getting past that behemoth, creep, big blue creature thing. Um, and apparently I found a lift for it, so let's see where this goes. I hear zombie noises, so that's... a start. I think I should probably go and investigate that. Oh, for there we go, head crap down. Not too much else in here though. Right, so as I was saying, um, yeah, another new another new episode. Uh, grab a little bit of health, that's probably what I just lost that head crab. Um, uh, it's been a couple of days as usual, Let's, so um, I'm a little a little bit hazy on what I've been doing, but I seem to have left myself in quite a good position. I've got a decent amount of health, a um, decent amount of armour, gun seems to be loaded. That one's not. Okay, let's carry on. I'm still a bit worried about the fact that this is clearly a train with a third rail, so that one should be electrified. And I'm in water. But, yeah, maybe if I just stay up here I'll be alright. Ooh, this train's got a bit faster. Yeah, I definitely can't go that way. That's not an open door, let's, let's carry on. I hear... I can hear voices. I think that's some marines up top. So as soon as I shoot this, I'm probably going to get some um, unwanted attention. So let's do that. Pull back a little bit. Thought I saw movement up there when I first arrived. Maybe if I stay out of the water, if I stop splashing the water, I'll be able to hear what's going on. No, it all just sounds a bit industrial up there. Maybe it's actually just a zombie. Okay, let's carry on going, see what I find. That's the one I just shot. Okay, back to the back on the train, haven't got gold to stop it. This looks familiar. Did I get to... I'm confused now. I thought I... This looks familiar. I had a feeling I saved here just before going up this hill. And maybe I... Um... Maybe I didn't save quite where I thought I had. Is that an... That's a bottomless pit, let's not go down there, but I'm wondering if I should have gone up those steps instead of going... Oh, I'll just keep going. I've got, I've got lots of ammunition and health and stuff, I'm not particularly hurting for things. If I have to turn around, then I have to turn around, but this looks promising for the way. What is that? Oh, it's through grating. It's half a zombie that I can't shoot. Great. What was sparking then? Oh, I have no idea. I'm getting very paranoid from all of this. Especially because there's a zombie above me that I have to go underneath now, and that presumably means the roof is going to fall in at some point. Ah! Why did I not reload? 
Right, um, learn your lesson, Lawrence. Reload. There we go. <laughs> What's that around there? Thought I saw movement down there. Is this all one open area? Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, yes, I thought I saw movement down there. I was wondering if this is just a general... Yeah, there we go. Dead? Yes, I think so. I don't know whether you're really supposed to hop on and off the train like this and um, go, oh, this bit looks dangerous, I'll get off the train and make sure nothing attacks me. Or whether you're supposed to just stay on it and shoot from the train. Shooting from the train seems like it would be harder and more dangerous and I'd probably get eaten by something. So I'm going to carry on not doing that. That's a very bright light ahead of me. Geek. Damn 40 gaunts. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised those two, those two aliens didn't fight while they were still both alive. Um, I f is this like... Ooh, that's a hole. That's a bottomless pit, in fact. Let's not go in there. Um, I was expecting this to be like Doom, where if you get any sort of pairs of aliens of different species together, they'll generally fight it out, but perhaps they haven't had a chance to spot each other. Now, what's that really bright light doing? That's... I don't know. I wonder if that's just there to dazzle me and distract me. Let's carry on and see what we can find. It just, look, just looks like a work light. Um, that also looks like an inno That looks like a pit of do not go in here to me. Yeah, I don't want to drive the train off into that. Tramliner. No, this isn't like the um, the one you ride on the way into the into Black Mesa. Because um, those 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 trams you on the on the to the entrance, they would they could use the tracks underneath or above them. There isn't a track above anyway, but there is a thing here to lower down. So yeah, that's very electrified. So if I go in there, I'm toast. So presumably that means somewhere around here there's going to be a cunning system to lower this bridge down so I can drive across there. Let's have a look. Or alternatively, maybe I just have to make the whole area safe like that and then I can go in for a swim. That's not a climby pipe. That is a ladder though. Ow. Stop it. Jeez. <laughs> I don't think I did that in the best possible way. <laughs> I do remember learning that the um, the Magnum's very good for dealing with those, but obviously I just didn't in this particular occasion. Just kill everything for now, shall we? Um, this is going to take me back down to where I just came from, except on the other side of the doors, so that's good. Power Have that. Yeah, what do we have? Big red button security doors. Mm, I want to... Nope. No, no usable switches. I'll take the health, though. That's useful. Okay, so I've got in here... I don't really want to jump in the water just yet, because I'm not sure if there's a way out. There's a ladder over there, but it doesn't really seem to go anywhere. So, and there's a bit more around here to explore, so let's have a look back this way first. Is this where I just went? Yes, this is where the, uh, the yappy creatures were. And then there was another way, I could go further down the staircase as well. That sounds like a zombie. 
Yes. Well, I guess that... <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> That seems like too much effort. Right, made safe. Oh, head. No, it's a skull, not a head crab. Okay. That's no, no. Hey, I came all the way down here. There's probably the. Uh... Okay, there's a half light. Oh, there's a uh, portal reference. Apparently, the pizza is a lie in this game. Great. <laughs> ah, nerds. So I came all the way down here for one and a half clips of pistol ammunition. Okay, let's go and jump in the other water that's no longer electrified then. I don't see where else I can go from here. Oh, no. No, there's another closed lock door. This is the way out, but... My torch is useless underwater. Great. Ah, a manual override. I see. So I need to grab this cable. Plug it in like that. Now, presumably, I can find something to lower that with. In fact, if I just turn the power back on... And is it this button? There we go. Yikes. Don't want to be here. Dead eye. Oh, fuck. That went down easily. That did not. What the? Oh, what? Hit it. Come on then. Oh. oh. Even this far into the game, I still can't deal with head crabs properly. That I was not expecting. Eat that. Did I get it? No. Oh, for <laughs> learn to play games properly, Lawrence. Right, okay, that looks pretty fatal. How can I have some health back? <laughs> oh, I'd have been better off not coming in here at all. And that suit charge is empty. Oh, I need to come in here anyway so I won't open that up. What have we got out there? I heard a teleport noise. Oh, there's a vorticant over there. Oh, fuck. Bloody hell. I think there might be a second one, because that one got there very, very quickly. No, maybe not. Yeesh, that was some bad play. <laughs> right. Everything from when I got spat on onwards just went terribly. Let's see if we can play a little bit better for the next few encounters, shall we?
Oops, going up. I was meaning to search that area before, I, before this happened, but the train didn't stop when I expected it to. <laughs> uh oh. You know, let's just get off. <laughs> so that's that turret activating. And shooting my poor little train. Also me. Okay, so there's a... Where, Where are the turrets? <laughs> Oh, there's one. Right, okay, that turret might be dealt with. I honestly can't tell. It's sort of fallen over. Right. That one's now disarmed, I'm convinced. But with the number of these laser these lasers there are around here, I'm sort of suspecting there's going to be more turrets. There's one over there that's got knocked over as well. Oh, there's one over there that isn't. Let's deal with that. <laughs> there it is. Right, okay, that's safe. Made, made safe. There's one in there. That was the one that... the one that got me one from the um, on the lift I think okay the lasers have all gone out does that mean their turrets have been deactivated I think well I think the turrets are all deactivated so yeah and call that good enough and <laughs> generally successful <sighs> right, I guess we need to carry on. The fact that I just seem to have had those terrorist attack tells me I'm probably going to get back face to face with the military, military again. So, yeah. That's red, which sometimes means interactable. But no, I don't think it is. That sign's probably a hint. I'll um I'll believe it. Am I still just peeing that turret along in front of me? Yes I am. Okay, more more red trip wires. That says turrets to me. What do you think happens if I just shoot a turret straight up with the magnum? Do you think it'll fall over, or do you think it'll get angry and shoot back at me? Let's find out. Okay. Happy with that result. <laughs> Nobody's come running to investigate. The laser's gone out. I think I might have just won this encounter for... Limited values of encounter. Yeah, let's go and get the train. Just in case I find another lift or something that actually requires it. <laughs> Did you see that? The physics ping of that turret that's been in the... Um, in the way of the train the whole way along. That one, in fact. Each time I hit it, each time I bump into it, it goes flying, and uh, that time it flew quite a long way. Alright, 
those are easy enough to get rid of, I think. Ooh, I've alerted some, some troops. Now, for the soldiers, the submachine gun tends to be the best weapon because they move around a lot, so I need to spray and pray a bit because I'm, as probably previously mentioned, not actually all that good at first-person shooters. Definitely heard voices. And I'm stuck on something. Uh, I need to stop just spraying and restrict myself to bursts, I think. <laughs> um, me and my 19% health. Uh, there it is. Boom, headshot. Right, okay. Um, I don't like wandering around with this little health. It, I think I need to find some medikits. Uh, this is also clearly the end of the line as far as the train goes, so I'm going to need to carry on on foot. Yeah, not getting underneath that, even with the um, door trapped open a bit. Come on, the soldiers must have some medikits around. Porches, guns, turrets. Where's the stuff I actually need? Well, there's some crates. Let's nope, just detritus. And uh, not the troll from the Discworld. This feels like a loading screen. No, I'm carrying it. That sounds like the soldiers and the aliens fighting. Which is always fun to watch. Soldiers seem to be winning the Well, the soldiers are running away. I don't know if they're actually winning. Last time I let them get on with it, there was an enormous blue guy for me to deal with afterwards. Oh. Maybe I should have just stayed quiet. <laughs> Ah. Oh. Hide in the dark up here somewhere. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to see. Or just lurk up here and take pot shots at anyone who moves. Ow. Oh, uh, two percent. Not. This is going to be difficult. This is going to be very, very difficult. Maybe just hiding up there in the dark and owning anyone who comes running around the corner is going to be the best way. Like that, perhaps. <laughs> Do you think the soldiers have good enough night vision to spot me if I'm lurking up here in the dark? Because I can't face them on sort of fairer terms than this. I call that a partial success. I mean, it took them out, but I now have 3% health. I now have 0% health. Oh, for goodness sake. This is getting cheesier and cheesier. What's put that there? And then another one there, and then just run and generally hide. <laughs> this feels extremely cheap and borderline cheating, but I don't know. Right, okay, so the zapping has stopped. Where are the soldiers? That's the first one. Well, hopefully the first two. And they had some friends last time. Got 
quiet. Crawl under me. Okay, maybe the fighting didn't go quite so well for the soldiers this time. I still don't have the health for this <laughs> sort of shenanigans. As I know there was a box in there, but I'm kind of scared about smashing the box in case it makes so much noise that a soldier comes running. <laughs> oh. I hate having such low health. Oh. Oops. That was not good. He made, he made me jump, I swear. I, Sorry, Barney. Didn't mean to shoot you in the gut. Oh. And I've still not got any health worth talking about. I've got 20%. When did that go up? Where is he? This is horrific and horrific and tense. I just uh I just know as soon as I start to advance he's gonna come flying around the corner and blast me in the face with a shotgun. Or a head crack. So I know there's a soldier up there somewhere because I've not killed him yet. And there's headcrabs coming from around that corner. Yikes. Ow. Oh, there's a medikit there. Oh, that's slightly better. What's going on up there? Right, okay, I see him. I can't get a grenade over that sort of distance. Maybe a magnum round. Is that him? That was. Yes. Whew. Right. I feel like I've got through that bit and survived it. Unlike that poor security guard I shot. Um, yeah, I still feel bad about that. Now I just hope there's some more health and armour pickups around this area. Because I'm still very, very short of health. Perfect. I'm not short of ammo though, so I don't feel too bad about using the <laughs> submachine gun on head crabs. <sighs> okay, that's better. I keep seeing that dripping water over there and thinking of another head crab or something. Right, 100% health. I can't, can't, certainly can't complain about that. I mean, I'd appreciate, um, I'd appreciate some armor as well, but I admit I can't, can't have absolutely everything. Who left the fridge open, honestly? Ooh. Power yes. 50%. Like that. Excellent. Starting to feel a bit more, um, a bit more dangerous now. Like I can actually pick up for myself. No, nothing in there. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's still soldiers up there then. You know what I'd say, never interrupt your enemies while they're fighting together. No, making a mistake, that's it. Never interrupt your enemy when you can turn into a green mist. What the hell was that?
I'm getting paranoid again. <laughs> Ooh, rocket engines. Okay, this area seems seems safe at the moment. Oh, maybe one of those boxes went up. Right, I must, maybe I clipped that with one of them. Who's that? I heard a voice. But I think it said, have they gone? Which might mean it's one of the science team. Nope. Nope, soldier. <laughs> How he survived everything that was going on in here, I don't know. I thought the aliens won the firefight. Maybe he was just too cowardly and hiding around in the background there. Oh, nice. Mountain machine gun. Which is really hard to use. I say really hard to use, I don't know how to cross there until I start the bathroom. Any more for any more? I was expecting this to be like um, sort of Call of Duty type games where you actually stare down the top of the, um, of the gun while you're using it. So the massive parallax when I did things like this completely threw me off. Um, and yeah, it cost me all of the health I just picked up. So yeah, well done there Lawrence. Oh well, uh, loot the corpses. Not that I really need to, I've got basically full ammunition. Uh, for this gun anyway. I'm noticing this game is very fond of its dismemberment. <laughs> I'm sure the, I don't remember, well, I don't really remember one way or the other uh, from the original Half-Life, whether it tended to, ooh, a secret. Um, whether it tended to blow people's limbs off like that when you shot them, but um, yeah, this game definitely likes it. Right, I've done something. That means, yeah, things like that. Oh! Warning. Hazardous chemical detected. Have that. Seek medical attention. Ah! Where'd that grenade go? Oh, did it go? No, it didn't go the right way. Ammunition depleted. There we go. Right, so as I was saying, yes, I pulled the lever, so I assumed, immediately assumed that everything was going to go to hell and that something was going to be unleashed, and... Well, I don't really want to gloat and say, haha, I was right. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was. At least there seem to be plenty of these health machines around at the moment. I'm guessing this is the way I was expected to come up, rather than climbing up that angled um, thing that I used. So this will this will lead me back into the bottom of the um, that big room. Yeah, this one. where I've opened a big door at the end of it, and, well, let's actually get a bit more of the submachine gun ammunition, because I wasted a load opening those boxes. <laughs> there we go. Do I get a train? No, I don't get a train. I'm just proceeding on foot. I see green lighting. Actually, no, it's, maybe, maybe it's more blue. Maybe that's a bit less dangerous. I don't know. What sort of radiation gives off the worst? <laughs> What colour of radiation is the most dangerous? Ah, oh. This is why I hate shotguns and computer games sometimes. They're horrendously lethal in the hands of the enemy. I mean, look at, look, he's not... Seven. 
75% health off me. But when I try to use the shotgun myself, the fire rate is probably going to give me issues. Also, I totally heard that guy, that soldier talking. I'm just not sure where he is. Don't know if I should be going down or up at this point. Who said that? And where are they? And <laughs> which way do I need to guard? Oh. They're obviously above me because there's nothing else down here. Oh. I feel like I'm going to get ambushed. Dogs are barking. Okay, good. I think that means they're convinced. <laughs> oh, right. Am I supposed to do that on all levels? No, I can't do it on this one. When are we getting relieved? Feel a bit, a bit mean shooting him in the back like that, but yeah, <laughs> he'd have done the same for me. Also, who is he talking to? Oh, maybe he's on the radio. I can extend my disbelief that far. I don't know how it is for you guys watching, but this is really rather tense. And um, they're grenading me. I think this is a reasonable range, so... Where are they? this I think is tense enough I'm gonna call it a cliffhanger and end the episode here so here's me with my mighty mighty brave 25% health that seems to have just about managed to hang on for a little while um, I'm getting close to the top of this rocket though so presumably the idea is we have to yeah there was there was some plot lore earlier I think saying go help the, the scientists in Lambda complex to launch their rocket and everything will be all right and it'll help in oh maybe I'm gonna carry on playing Head, I can't tell through the bright lights. No. Okay, so I've got a heroic 17% health. Um, and I'm going to call it an episode here because I reckon I've been playing for about 40 minutes or just under. So, um, yeah. Uh, this is presumably the rocket from Lambda Complex that we're supposed to be launching to that will somehow rescue us from the from the uh, military. I'm not sure exactly how, but, you know, I'm just going to follow the plot along. It's a nice linear shooter, so it'll tell me what to do as I go. Thank you for watching, and I'll uh, see you next time when hopefully we'll get that rocket launched. Thanks for watching.